I told you in this lesson that I was going to talk about bar chords. If you're not there yet, don't worry about it. Do G, C, full C, the D, with just first four and five strings. Try this. Now we're bar, going on to bar chords. You got your F chord, right? If you don't, we're working on the F chord. I'm using this thumb to cover that top string there, the bottom string. So you can hit, because it's an F. It's an E, F. Here's another way. Instead of putting a capo, see if you put a capo on this first fret and you play an E here, with the capo there, it will be an F. Put the capo here, it'll be an F sharp. Put it here, it'll be a G. Okay, so instead of using a capo, we're going to use our finger. And your finger will get strong. Don't, ever, don't, say, don't tell me you can't. We weren't allowed to say you can't in Ron Kerber's class in University of the Arts. Because you really can. <laughs> Anything that you're told here, you can do it. Okay, um, um, okay you got your, this is your bar, the fret. This is going to count as a bar. Now, instead of playing your E, okay, we're going to use different fingering. Use my middle finger for this, and these two here. That's the E, okay? Bar it, put the bar, play your E here, it's an F. Up on another one, F sharp. Another one, G. G sharp or A flat. A. Here's A. See on the keyboard when you go up, when you go from uh, from an E to an F, you got to change fingering because there's black keys in between. But with the guitar, you don't have to do that. So all the chords are opened up for you with the bar. Put the bar there. E, F, F sharp, uh, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. Here's C. Here's C. How's that? If you didn't already know it, it should be pretty incredible to you. I'm going to open up twice as much as that. Five times as much as that. Okay? It's just very exciting when this came to me. Some lessons took me years to learn because I would learn this chord and that chord. And, but now things have come together and they, they're, they're put together here. And so... You know, your A minor, you got your A minor, all right? Okay, now we put our bar here and play the A minor. So we're going to use different fingering for the A minor. A minor. So here, we're going to use the middle finger for that string. So now it's not A minor, it's B flat minor. Or A sharp minor. A sharp minor is not used much here, classical music maybe. Up here, B minor. Up here, C minor. Just like a keyboard. I got a video on it, it shows you all the notes on the keyboard, so you know, because because you need to know between, between, e, and, between e and F, there's no E sharp or F flat, because there's no black note in between E and F, and there's no black note between B and C. So it would be good to know the notes. Go to the video with a little melodica and you'll see all the notes there, and Definitely would be good to know that. You want to know some theory. You don't want to just play everything by ear. You want to know some theory. And uh, so we've got your A minor, B flat minor, B minor. Some people play it like this, you know. But there's another way to play it. It's the same thing. C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D minor. So, and not only that, say for instance the A chord, you would probably seen this already. Here's the A chord. Okay, but if I put it up here, the A chord here, and you use this as, and it will get strong, the ring finger, and then bar it, that's a B flat. There's a B. There's a C. 
C sharp, D. So you see it opened up a whole another realm for you to work with your chords. So if I want to do a G, C, and D, I can do this. Bar boys now for the cheek.